What's up, trainers? Emmy Cat here. I hope you're all enjoying the Battle Showdown event. There's two days to go. I had a user request that I make a solo Hitman Lee video and effective counters to use. However, they're only a low level, and they were concerned that they wouldn't be able to beat it, considering it's got a bit of a higher CP than some of the other fighting mons at tier 3 level. So, I've just put together a little quick video if some of you are having a little bit of trouble beating Hitman Lee. So the website we're going to be using today is Pokebadler and there is a link to it down below in the description. I suggest you have a really good look around their website. They don't just have raid boss simulators, they also have really awesome guides and much, much more. Okay, let's have a look at the battle party that we've put together. Now upon first look, you're probably thinking, but Emmy Cat, I don't have a Lugia and I don't have a Mewtwo. Well, never fear if you're new to the game. I will be providing an alternate battle party, which I have tried and tested, not in this video, and that will do the job just as well. I primarily set up this battle party because it consists of six different mons and you can watch and see the effect that they have against Hitmonlee separately rather than having, you know, six of the same. Boring. So, looking at Poke Battler and comparing my battle party, I've used a combination of different mons from the top 10 counters that the website recommends. Remember, you have to put the setting on time to win, and it shows which mons defeat it the quickest. But sometimes it's not always good to go in guns blazing, so I've included a couple of mons in there to soak up a bit of damage, provide a bit of stamina, so that we're not fainting, you know, halfway through the battle. We don't want that. Now, the results that I've gotten from this query are based on level 30 mons with a clear sunny day. You can set it to uh, extreme weather so there's no advantages for any mons, but honestly, it, it doesn't change anything. These are just the weather conditions I've got today. Only mon are on that team that is maxed out is Gardevoir. But once you average it out with all the mons, they all turn out to be about level 30 or so. Woo! So now on to the battle. Alrighty, starting off the lineup, we got Carl, my level 24. Yes, only level 24 Mewtwo, 13 attack power with the optimal moveset of Confusion and charge moveset Psychic. Number one on Poke Battler's suggestion for optimal mons against Hitmonlee. Number two. Next up, we have Dodge, my level 29.5 Metagross with the optimal moveset of Zen Headbutt and Psychic. Third, we got Magic, my level 32 Alakazam, 15 attack power and the optimal moveset of Confusion and Feature Sight, number two on Poke Battler's suggested list. Fourth in the lineup, we have Vision, my level 30 and a half Espeon, ranking third on Poke Battler's suggested Pokemon. He's got the optimal moveset of Confusion and Future Sight with 15 attack power. This is kind of, you know, turning into a bit of a sports announcement. Fifth, we've got Galadriel, my level 40 Gardevoir, with the optimal moveset of Confusion and Dazzling Gleam. 15 attack power and ranking fifth on Poke Battler's suggested mons to use. This is kind of fun, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Woo! Last but not least is Spectre, my level 30 and a half Lugia, with 14 attack power and ranking ninth on Poke Battler's suggested mons to use. Why is he in there? So if all my mons get knocked out, he'll be in there to the end. The suggested moveset is Extra Sensory and Sky Attack, but uh, I've just left him with Extra Sensory and Future Sight because he's still putting down double damage. Woo, onto the battle, here we go. And Carl goes in, dealing that double damage with Confusion, and he puts in the charge move, Psychic, always really packing the damage. Him and Lee use close combat, but in he goes, gun blazing, he's really packing down the damage. Hence why he's the number one uh, suggested mon to use by Poke Battler. And down he goes, but he put in a big chunk of damage to Hitman Lee. Now we got Dodge. Now remember, he's not going to put down as much damage as Carl. Honestly, I just chucked him there just to see what he does, how good he is. He is number nine after all. Uh, not really making a dent in the damage at the moment, but boy is he a trooper. At the moment we are still tracking along nicely, almost halfway, but here comes magic and here's where you'll see the damage go down. Charge move, bam! But uh, he, gets, uh, he gets a hard hit from Hitman Lee. Remember these guys are not max level, they're low level ones so they're gonna go down quicker. 
Hence why I've got two mons in there to uh, have a bit of stamina on my side. Woo, down he goes, but he put in a huge chunk against Hitman Lee. And now comes Envision, he's another hard hitter. In he goes, guns blazing, and bam, charge move. Look at that damage go down. Feature Sight really knocks it out of him. But again, oh, he gets a hard hit. But look at him go. And the time is ticking down. In comes Gladriel with confusion and dazzling gleam. Remember, Gardevoir is a little bit of a glass, as in, you know, he uh, doesn't take the hits very well. But he does put down a lot of damage. And he was in the top 10 for suggested mons. So I put him in there. And come on, Gladriel, the timer is ticking down. 20 seconds to go. We're in the red. And oh, dazzling gleam. Put in a nice chunk of damage there. Oh, five seconds to go. Come on, you can do it, Gladriel. And boom, down he goes. Low level mons. Hitman Lee, you are out of here. Woo, five golden raz, four revives, three rare candy. Booyah. And oh, yeah, double XP. And we got the damage bonus. Awesome. Let's catch this bad boy. Boom, in the ball. Got you, buddy. Hitmon Lee was caught. So, there you guys go. Hitmon Lee solo. I'll just give you a few little alternatives if you don't have the legendaries. Replacing the Mewtwo, an excellent choice, is an executor with the optimal move set of Confusion and Solar Beam. Now, I got one guy here, Saik. He's got extra sensory and psychic. Psychic still deals the double damage, so it's a good choice to have if you don't have any, uh, you know, charged TMs to change the moveset. Right, replacing Lugia. Excellent choice is Dragonite, with the optimal moveset of Dragon Tail and Hurricane. Here's my Dragonite, around level 30 with 15 attack power. She's called Videl. <laughs> See if you can guess what she's named after. Hmm? And remember, you don't have to use six different mons. If you've got six Alakazams, use six Alakazams. Honestly, the first tier three solo I did against a fighting mon was all Espeons. The best 25 candy that you will ever spend. But if you like a bit of a challenge, here is a good team to use. They're not all top level. Enjoy the rest of the battle showdown event. Catch them shinies. If you enjoyed this video, chuck us a like or a subscribe. Any cat out.